Hey guys, welcome back to this channel and I'm really glad you're here. Today we're just talking about how you can make your footage, your clips, your short films, your travel films or whatever you're doing look way way more cinematic and just overall more interesting, more natural to look at. Okay, so what we're talking about is basically what you need to adjust, what you need to take care of in the first place and in this short tutorial <laughs> I'm going to show you four easy ways to make this happen right after the intro. Okay, so tip number one. What you need to do in order to shoot or to get cinematic looking footage, you need to shoot in the right way. You need to shoot in a suitable frame rate and you need to shoot in the right picture or color profile. If you're on Canons or Sony cameras, you just need to adjust your color profile or picture profile to S-Log or C-Log or if you're on Sony even to Cine4. Shooting in log format also gives you the opportunity to color correct the whole clip, the footage way more intense I guess you could say that and make it well even even cooler, look even better. Okay, the next thing is you need to adjust your camera settings in the first place to actually produce cinematic footage. Choose 24 FPS, that's at least the frame rate which basically most of the Hollywood and uh, well commercials are shot. They look most natural and most interesting. So let's say you're choosing 24 FPS, you need to adjust your shutter speed to around two times the frame rate. That means if you're shooting at 24 FPS, your shutter speed needs to be at 1 over 50 seconds. Okay guys, so tip number two is change or set your timeline, your sequence to 24 frames per second. Okay, so you just drag and drop your footage into your project and what you want to do is you want to drag and drop your clips onto your timeline. In this case, the whole well clip or the clips are mainly in 29. 97 FPS, which is the standard GoPro slash um, DJI drone settings. So what we want to do is we want to head into sequence, hit sequence settings and change the frame rate to 23.976 frames per second and hit OK. Then the whole timeline is set to 24 FPS and subsequently, is this a word, I guess, um, all other clips will be converted into a 24 or 23.976 frames timeline equivalent, if you will say so. <laughs> okay, if that sounds anywhere logical. Great, okay. The next big thing in, well, creating cinematic footage or in making your footage look more cinematic is color grading. And I know this topic is kind of, well, not the easiest. It is one of the coolest tools or, or things you can do with your clips, with your images and footage to make your whole well, films, your, your travel stuff or travel movies, travel films, experience videos, image films, way more interesting to look at and it does make, well, or you can create really, really cool effects and cool looking stuff. The first thing what you want to do is you want to head into Lumetri scopes and if this isn't visible, just click on window and activate Lumetri scopes right here. Then what I'm mainly working with is for once the waveform and the Luma scope. The waveform kinda well represents how bright your image is or which parts of your image 
is the brightest, if you will say so. So in this case, we have this nice or, or slight sunset vibe already coming in. So the first thing what we want to do in order to well, create a nice looking color grade is we want to drop the blacks a little bit since they don't seem to be all the way down. And I like to drop the blacks to around zero where they start to hit, well, the bottom, which is basically pitch black. The next thing is, since this is sunset, I want to drop the whites a tiny bit to, well, get this nice sunset vibes, maybe even increase the temperature to a more warm tone and even the magentas just a tiny bit and maybe even up the contrast, reduce the shadows and the highlights maybe or even increase the shadows just like so and maybe even increase the saturation to a point where the whole scene kind of lightens or wakens up if you can say that. Then what we want to do is we want to create an adjustment layer. Where is that? There's it. Okay, hit okay. Drag and drop the adjustment layer onto your timeline in the second track portion thing. Just stretch it, hit creative here at the Lumetri color scopes and apply a LUT. In this case, I'm heading into my cinematic LUTs and I created some LUTs just the other day. So let's just maybe use the Cine LA stuff and there we go. So what it did, it added a bit of blue to the shadows and a little bit of blue to the highlights. Um, we also could use a pretty much, well, well, different LUT and let's see, maybe, maybe we wouldn't want to use this Norse Cine LUT, which I created earlier this month. And I do even like that better. So this is how you color grade in a pretty easy and fast way. So what you might want to be doing is you might want to just reduce the intensity or even increase the intensity. This is totally up to you. So just get creative. Okay, so the next short tip or slightly less uh, hard to use tip is just use cinematic or widescreen bars. I know this isn't always the best thing to do, especially it can look kind of strange, but what I do like to do is I do like to add some cine bars to my B-roll shots or if I'm creating maybe a, a image film, an experience movie for a brand, for a company or anything like that. Okay, so. What we do want to do is, we already have this adjustment layer, we just want to head into effects, click on this little search thing and type in crop, drag and drop this crop effect onto the adjustment layer, get into effects and just add around 12 to 13 percent to top and bottom part of your clip. After that, make sure that the main subject is mostly centered or highlighted in some way. So in this case, what we do want to do is we want to adjust the bottom layer just a tiny bit um, and push it down to have the sky more visible and the car at the bottom to get a more fluid and interesting or cinematic look, I guess. Okay, that's it. These are my five, four, sorry, four main tips how you can actually make your footage look more cinematic for free. 
I hope you guys liked it. There are so many things you actually can do to make your footage look good, to make it look interesting and well so much more but the main thing is and that's just let's say a bonus tip i guess you want to focus on a subject or object when you are actually shooting any films or any other stuff for your friends and family uh, okay guys that's it i've been blabbing and, and and talking for over 12 minutes now i hope you guys can take something out of that I highly much appreciate it if you might even like the video if not that's totally up to you anyway have a great day guys and I hope I'm getting another video done this week bye bye see you next time